So we just arrived in Tsavo. This is where we're gonna take our entire family for their first ever <laughs> safari. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Is it a cool truck? Yeah. <laughs> My heart is already so happy just seeing like the reaction to arriving into town and boy and being picked up by our drivers. We have Harry and Duncan already fantastic. <laughs> being able to bring our families here, share our world with them and bring them on their first ever safaris, I think we're gonna get some great memories. Buckle up, it's gonna be a good one. Owen, are you the one who's bringing the rain? So we just made it to Lion's Bluff. Sadly, we brought the rain with us apparently, yeah. but up first we're gonna have lunch because we just had you know, a four hour ride in train and it's yeah. it's 2 p.m. It's, it's past I'm lunch hungry. time. And then after that, we're gonna go check out the room. I'm excited because they actually have a family room which we've yeah. never seen before. Um, yeah, I was gonna say we'd never showed you, but we've never seen it either, so. Coming up, up next. One, one word to describe your lunch. Fabulous. Oh, I like it. <laughs> and at least one word. Great. Great? Okay, I'll take great. I mean, we'll work on it. One word. Awesome. Awesome. Ooh, you got an awesome. One word. Delicious. You can't repeat any word. Stunning. Oh. Oh, stunning. fabulous. Uh, somebody said fabulous already. Pick another word, Myrna. Any other word. Um, um. Exquisite. Exquisite. Ah, uh, Jay, you're in, you're in hot um, water really, right now. I'm just gonna say delicious. Oh, there you go. See, we'll so take it. Sit, yeah, but we'll take it. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Look. This was mom. Okay. Welcome. No way. Jay, this is really no nice. way. No way. <laughs> oh my dear. Luxury. No way. Everything you expected and more. More. No, way <laughs> over the top. I did not expect this. Unreal. Rock. Wow. This is the bathroom. Yeah. yeah and one. then you get an outside shower. Outside then. shower. <laughs> I think Tracy's parents are just living a dream right now. It's just so cool to see their reaction. Like, whew, I'm almost emotional too. Okay, this is a little nice. I know, but I'm taking, I'm taking this bed. <laughs> so, wake up every morning. Yeah. 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 Y
So it might look like we're just having some fun with some slingshot, but they're actually planting acacia trees. So like in the little seed, show them a seed. Yeah. There's like a little seed coated in charcoal in a ball and we just throw them as far as we can and hopefully a tree's gonna grow. But this is like a really cool initiative. Yeah. Okay, for one, kids keep entertained. For two, it's a cool initiative for planting the trees. Yeah. So I think it's... Kind it's pretty cool. And wine charcoal, you may ask, it's just to protect the seeds so the birds don't, you know, just drop from the sky and eat it. Oh, I didn't know that actually. Yeah. Cool. Show us how it's done, Tracy. <laughs> oh, I think that will work too well. Yeah, so you lift it up. How was that? <laughs> oh, fantastic. Was it cool? Oh, it was cool. We saw so much. Now, before we go sit at the table for supper, we're gonna enjoy a nice little glass of wine by the fire, and one of the manager, Kevin, is gonna tell us a little bit more about the local communities here. It's our first time coming on safari with kids and here at Lions Blood they actually have a kids menu and it looks pretty good like I'm kind of jealous especially of that chicken burger Owen. <laughs> you gonna finish all of that? <laughs> so you know if Dave has a chicken burger he stole it from his nephew. <laughs> okay good night guys. Good night. Good night guys. Good night guys. <laughs> so cute. It's getting late we lost two of the kiddos but uh, the rest going strong? Of course. <laughs> They're tired. Lala Salama, they say. Lala Salama. <laughs> Lala Salama, okay. And we'll see you guys bright and early. Actually, so early, it's probably not going to be bright. Yeah, that's <laughs> So, today was overwhelming, overstimulating. We had a super long journey to get here, especially basically for my family where they're not used to this type yeah, of And travel. the kids do, yeah. Yeah, so, overall... Because of that, I think it was still like a 10 out of 10 day. Yes. Everyone was dealing tired, obviously, <laughs> fantastic. And tomorrow... But tomorrow, they're more going to be like on the safari beat. I think it's going to yeah. be a fantastic day. It's supposed to not rain and we have a couple surprises for them. So see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Good night. Good morning. We slept super well. So well. <laughs> Surprisingly, the, Tracy's sister with the three kids are already at the reception. The we thought they'd be back. like late with the kids and everything I uh, gave this them an early. early timeline. Sorry, Al, if you're watching this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. I guess they're excited. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, she slept really good. Aww. You guys must be really excited. You said six ten. Sleep well? Yeah. Yeah. You look refreshed, I like it. 5.06. 5 6, that's good. That's that's morning safari time. I think we got a call for a good sighting is because our driver is driving pretty fast right now. We get about three or four safari truck behind us following at the same speed. So let's hope for the best.
morning. We have great morning now. So as much as you always see the bush breakfasts on video and stuff, when you're here in person, it really is different. So told everyone that this morning we're gonna have a bush breakfast, but didn't tell them any other detail, whether it was like packed or whatnot. And of course you show up to the chefs and everyone here with food and drinks and everything's good to go. And mama's blown away. <laughs> Lunch. <laughs> I can't talk about lunch now. Oh, and how's, how's the breakfast? Fabulous. Perfect. I love it. Yeah. A thousand years. A thousand years. See you in ten minutes. See you in a thousand years. See you later. They're, they're loving it. Yeah. They're really having a good time. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. It's been great. Thank you. See you later. All right. Bye. <laughs> so now that we are back at camp. Um, bellies are so full and I just love it so my parents are actually in the one beside us and they popped out my father's like I just have a permanent grin on my face like I just can't not smile and that is the reaction that we have when we come on safaris even though we've done so many of them it doesn't change honestly we still love them so much so enough rambling let's show you around we're like we said we're at Lions Bluff this is the Saroy collection and in the back here, we have a mini bar to make our own coffee. We have some cold drinks. We even have an 18 liter in here, which is absolutely fantastic because if you know when you're at safaris, you get so thirsty and it gets hot really fast. Over here, obviously our bed, we have a little seating area. The one thing I love, I say one thing, but like, man, there's so many things I love, is that everything is glassed around. So we'll show you the view once we come around the other side, but you just have stunning views even from inside of your room. So coming back here, we have a little wardrobe area, changing area, and there's even yoga mats in there. So like if you wanna do some exercise in the morning, perfect opportunity too. Into our bathroom, we have a double sink, we have some robes, toilet of course facing the view because why not, that's what you need. <laughs> our shower here and just little things that they really put effort into. So this one is even your water consumption. When you're waiting for the water to get hot, you put your cold water in the bucket and they use that to feed the plants around or clean just to reuse that cleaner water. Now, let's go around the other side and out front and it's like a whole it's just, it's so stunning, it's so stunning, come see. So coming outside with the deck here, we have a huge space here, but you will notice that it's built around the tree. So they're minimizing what they're cutting, everything like that. But this, guys, this view is so amazing. So you can see it right over the plains. So we had been here about a year and a half ago and it is honestly night and day from the last time that we were here in the sense of it was dry. They haven't had rain in so long, but this time everything is so lush and green and I've never seen Lumo like this. So it's so cool. Again, greenery everywhere. Our water holes are filled with water, whereas before they were pretty dry. We have lots of seating area to look over the plains in the afternoon, whenever we want to, morning coffee. My egg chair, that is my favorite. But this, guys, this. You can either come out from the bathroom or the side bedroom, but we have a beautiful outdoor shower here, still looking over the plains. Doesn't get much better than this. Let's go to the pool.
Okay, go. Okay, go. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. This bed is really comfy. There's a third bed, so it's kitted out for like if you have kids. Um, and I think it's gonna turn into my little nap bed, so I don't mess up the big bed. I'm getting up. Let's go to the pool. The boys have been in the pool for like probably at least an hour, an hour and a half already and like we're just getting texts on the Facebook messengers. <laughs> Are you guys coming to the pool? Are you guys coming to the pool? We're coming now! <laughs> So we just had a great afternoon at the pool and I have to say we are getting a different experience this time but in a good way since we don't have kids seeing how the kids are making out here with the staff all the different activities basically that can be done. Um, so last night Joel was pretty tired so they ended up going back to the room earlier and then they even like brought their suppers down. Super super great with the kids. For dessert, I got a sorbet, pina colada flavor. It's basically party in a cup. Mmm, mmm. What is it called? Pina colada. Do you want a bite? Do you want to finish that bite? Thank you. So after lunch, literally everyone went back to their tent. But you know what? Because I'm a big kid, I have some extra energy. So I'm staying with the boys at the pool. And uh, we're going to just have some fun, you know? Again, again! Woo! I'm Africa, baby! It was a fun couple hours. Now it's time to go back, get ready for our this evening game drive. And we're taking the family also on a little sundowner after their first one ever. So that's going to be pretty special. We're heading out for afternoon game drive. We're late. Our family keeps us accountable. My niece calls me literally on the dot that we're supposed to leave. So we gotta go. The crew this afternoon is just me, Tracy, and Annalise, and of course, Duncan, best driver around. We send the rest of the family in an open truck because, you know, it's those the really cool truck. Well, we'll have Annalise in that truck later on, but she decided to stay with us because we're so nice. We're so cool, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Say yes. 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 <laughs> See? I didn't say it. She said it. Welcome to Sundowner, where, where the magic of Kenya happened. I know. This is <laughs> Thank so, you. This is spot. <laughs> so we just arrived at our Sundowner spot for the evening, and it's so funny because my family has seen these and watched these over all of our safaris, and now they actually get to enjoy some. So we have a good glass of wine. We've got some snacks. We've got some drinks, and watching the sun go down. Everyone is very tired tonight. We even skipped dessert. Some people left in the middle of the meal. I think, you know, it's safaris are a lot for people, especially when you're not used to it. Slept well? Oh, we, we slept. did. I slept all you night. You do. Morning, kids. Morning. Bye, mommy and daddy. <laughs> 
Good morning. It is another beautiful morning here in Lumo Conservancy. The sun is slowly rising. The mountain at a distance. And this morning we're with all the kiddos. Hello. <laughs> we're basically like, you know, the cool uncle and aunt. And they were like, no, mommy and daddy, we don't want to go with you this morning. That's not how that happened. Because David and Tracy are so much cooler. <laughs> this is exactly how it happened. Don't, don't, don't say anything. So yesterday, everyone got hungry real fast. So they were prepared. We went to ask them if we could have some extra toast. They're like, we're already on it. We've got a lot of snacks for you tomorrow. So let's see what we got in here. Anyone want a croissant? Oh, <laughs> that's all right. You can eat it. Anyone five want seconds, a croissant? Five seconds, five seconds. You want a croissant? There you go. Mm. So during morning game drive, normally you eat like at around 8.30, 9, but like most of us are used to eat much earlier than that. And yesterday, I have to say, those little boys got a little cranky because they were a little to, hungry. They're used to eating <laughs> early. So but. the driver actually like, you know, realized that situation. But this morning, they decided to pack some snacks. So everyone is happy and full of croissants. Okay, guys, on a scale from one to ten, how scared were you? Ten. Ten? <laughs> Probably eight. Okay, Annalise? <laughs> oh, you're so brave. Annalise no. is so brave. Tracy, how saying, scared were we? I was a little nervous, like three. Nine point five. Nine point five. Nine point five. But elephants are big. Like when they start coming, you're like, boom. <laughs> See you at breakfast. You breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Want me to do it too? Oh, <laughs> so a little bit of a slower morning this morning on safari, but the elephants at the end truly saved the day. The kids had a great time. They've been talking about those elephants the entire ride back. So that was quite special. So I know we did show you guys this camp around the last time we were here about two years ago, but now there's a lot of new people watching. So here's a little tour from Tracy. Welcome to reception. This is what you see when you first arrive. And of course, off to the side, you have a fantastic gift shop. Continuing through, you come to your restaurant, your little lounge area, the perfect place to have coffee but the view, there is a full 180 degree view where you can see planes just out in the distance as far as you can see. Something unique about this deck is with the 180 degree view, on this side you can see sunset, on this side you can see sunrise. So no matter what you wanna watch, you can watch it straight from here or your room if you just want sunset. But also something we've noticed since the last time we were here is the trees that have grown in around the deck they have grown up so much, creating so much more lushness, I think is the perfect word for it. Perfect place to sit, have your coffee, and see if any game comes around. So coming down from the reception and meal area, we come down to what I would say is the kids' favorite spot of the entire lunch. So as you can see here, the pool has tons of space. It's infinity edge, so you can still see over into watching if there's elephants coming by. You have, again, lots of space here, so if the camp is full, everyone pretty much has a bed. You even have a bar up here called the cave, which is a fantastic view. 
And over here, there's um, something you would have seen from the last video. And if you haven't seen that, well then you're gonna find it tonight. So something that you haven't seen because we haven't required it <laughs> is the family setup. So my sister is here with her husband and three kids. So we're gonna show you how that configuration can fit a family of five. So my sister and her family is staying in one of the family suites. The way that's configured, straight ahead, it's as if you're walking into basically our room, the exact same with the outside shower and everything. But the extension off to the side they have it configured with three beds for the kiddos and the kids even have their own bathroom and shower too. So you're not actually sharing with mom and dad, which is fantastic. Still same huge balcony out front and there's even small kiddo chairs there too. So now I've had to come back to the room because when you book the train package here, you get a complimentary 30 minute massage and I could not pass that up and I'm gonna go to the pool. Massage is great, no, just in case you want to know. Um, but we're gonna have some lunch here before we head out to the community and see some of the initiatives that Soroy is doing. And yeah, stay tuned for that. Is that a good shrimp? It's a very good shrimp. Okay, to the trucks. So we just made it to Latika Primary School. It is located just outside Lumo Conservancy, not too far from Lions Bluff. And this is one of the schools that is being taken care of in part by Soror Collection and Sunworld Safari. So this school is just one of the many projects that CWC runs. So CWC is actually an NGO for community, wildlife and conservation, and they are partnered with Soroy and Sunworld Safaris. So if you want to help out CWC and are not planning to come to any of the Soror Collection uh, property anytime soon, well, you can do so by scanning this little QR code and we're going to put their information down below as well. And thank you in advance. We are happy today, so happy. We say welcome and welcome again. Well, this was a very fun, interesting, and eye-opening experience for the entire family, I think, especially coming from Canada. Sometimes we are kind of oblivious of what's going on and the conditions uh, of other people, other kids around the world. So hopefully it was also eye-opening for my niece and nephews and, you know, for them to understand that not everyone in the world has access to classrooms that are perfectly lit, perfectly built, and temperature controlled, you know? Pineapple? What does pineapple? I don't think we're gonna need that. That doesn't belong on pizza. I don't want to see any. No, 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 no. Nana is not putting pineapple on your pizza. <laughs> okay, so tonight, as I said, you would see the rest of the lodge tonight. We actually are having a pizza night. So we're having our starters, and then we can go up to the pizza oven. They have a real pizza oven, and choose what we want on our pizza, which is also fantastic if you have kiddos because then you don't have to worry about making modifications. They just well, maybe. go up and do it. <laughs> I'm excited. I would like yeah. all the meat. All the meat. All of it. Um, and then some onion. Mm -hmm. 
uh, green and red pepper, a good amount of cheese, <laughs> and of course, no pineapple. <laughs> Zero. Zero pineapple. Yeah, okay. that, that should do it. Okay. There's two types of people in the world, people who are right and people who eat pineapple on pizza. So as it's our last night here, they even made us a super cute goodbye cake. And just if you're wondering on like what they can cater to, my father is gluten free and they even made him a separate gluten free cupcake just for him. <laughs> is it a good cupcake? Mm -mm. <laughs> go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh, there's promise in that. Oh, that's a crooked cut. They're just so nice here. The service, 10 out of 10. So pizza night was definitely a success. I love being able to like, you know, eat pizza like Real nice pizza here in the middle of the bush with their pizza bar here. It's a solid 10 out of 10. Now it is time to go see what the night has for us. So for the night game drive, we actually have our normal driver, but we also have a spotter whose sole purpose is to scan our surroundings with a massive spotlight. And what he's looking for is actually reflection in the eyes of the animals, which you can actually see from quite far normally. And fun fact about those reflection, depending on the colors that reflects from the eyes, it actually tells you what type of animal they are. This is gonna be the thumbnail too. To what, me? Yeah, right there. <laughs> you guys awake? Of course. We survived the night. We survived the night. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I know we got quiet on the end. Right. Careful, careful man. So that was a very fun little night game drive. We saw some mangoes, we saw some bat-eared fox, and a very, very fast serval cat that I didn't have time to film. But now we're gonna go to bed because we are all tired and we're gonna see you in the morning. Okay, so we've said this before, but this is our second time here and the expectation, we kept it the same and they left it the same. This is a fantastic spot. Um, everywhere from your food to your service, your staff, your ambiance, it really is amazing. So- And we kind of tested them this time yes, in a way because this into. is not the type of safari that we're used to because normally it's just Tracy and I, you yeah. know, we're very chill, we're just doing our own thing, but this was a different ambiance. So, and I would say like, I'll give you a couple of examples. We did put it to the test because we have hyper kids. We have people with intolerances for food and things like that. And they all pulled through. Like even our guides in the trucks, like they were really good at keeping the kids engaged yeah. and learning. And we we're so tired at the end of the night and they're just bring the food down so the kids could sleep. Like just mm -hmm. truly that personalized service that you expect from a top tier yeah. camp. So for all the parents out there, if you're always wondering, yes. is it possible to bring kids on a safari? The answer is yes, but just make sure there's a pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Otherwise, I have no doubt with the Soroy collection. You guys know we've been to their other locations, Samburu, yeah. Mara. They're, they're at the top of the game. So yeah. anyway, it is time for us to jump back on the train, go back to Nairobi, and head back for our next adventure. So until next time, see you guys. In the next one.